If you've ever wondered how you can get the functionality of a capture card, but without actually having one, NDI is the solution for you. I've covered it a couple times on the channel already as a way to transmit your game, screen, or entire stream layout over the network from one PC to another to unlock a lot of creative potential and make dual PC setups work without actually having capture cards. Even though, you know, one of my main content types is reviewing capture cards. But what if I told you it doesn't stop there? That's only the beginning. Well, we'll be discussing how NDI has changed the broadcast industry and show a few really cool new pieces of hardware that have popped up to integrate this new technology into your workflow, studio, or mobile broadcasting setup in today's video. Vox, your stream professor, and there's a lot of new releases in the streaming space these days. It is constantly growing after all, but not much has really gotten me excited like NDI has. Let's quickly talk about what NDI is to get people up to speed. NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and it's an open protocol developed by NewTek. That's the same company that makes those awesome TriCaster video mixers and mobile streaming rigs. NDI enables video products to share their video stream over a local network. They identify and connect to each other over discovery or IP, and then encode and transmit high quality streams of video and audio in real time. Plus, it's bi-directional, meaning that you can send video and audio in any number of directions, especially if your network has the bandwidth for it. The encoding algorithm supports high resolutions at 4K and beyond, and 16 or more channels of floating point audio. It's almost like magic, though network speeds do tend to bottleneck it. In tangible, practical terms for my audience, this allows you, for example, to send your gameplay from one PC to another over the network with OBS or XSplit's NDI plugin. It started as a this-could-be-cool technology to literally disrupting the broadcast industry. So much so that NDI has actually spun off from NewTek to being its own company, which is quite impressive. Another example of this would be sending a webcam that you have connected to a computer on the other side of your house or building over to your main PC without streaming it over the internet. NDI doesn't just require things to be sent over the network. It can operate simply within a single PC as well. This has proven to be useful for game streamers in situations where you loop a capture card's video feed between two capture programs or two OBS instances to integrate a live stream while recording a clean copy of the gameplay. For interviewers, on the other hand, this has also been allowed for clean and easy Skype call recording by hooking each individual Skype guest's video and audio to different NDI streams, and then capture that in OBS, XSplit, or vMix. And when only using NDI through a single PC, bandwidth bottlenecks are no longer a concern. I have videos about both of these topics linked in the video description. PCs aren't the only devices getting support here either. There's now dedicated NDI apps for smartphones, which allow you to transmit video feeds wirelessly using the NDI HX protocol, which we'll discuss in a little bit. This is great for looping in additional camera feeds. For example, imagine a local high school or college sports stream where the main production crew has a broadcast machine and a few cameras, and then students can be sent to the floor with just their smartphones to get additional footage or interview players during breaks and beam all of that back up to the main broadcast stream in real time. This has a lot of potential, but sadly at the moment the frame rate performance and compression quality and latency with these with the smartphone apps is a bit of an issue for my standards, but for other people it's probably fine, and I think that we will see that improve, at least on higher end phones, as time goes by. But software can only get you so far. While you can basically turn any computer with specs from the past six years or so into NDI broadcasts and receiving machines, useful for getting feeds from cameras across buildings or rooms, you know, that you don't have wires run to, hardware was still needed to fill some gaps. That's where something like this Studio NDI device from a company called BirdDog comes in. This was the flagship hardware NDI encoder and decoder that has brought the most complete NDI hardware package to the market first, and it's really sick. This is a small, thin box teeming with functionality. You've got SDI input and output, HDMI input and output, NDI encoding, tally lights, audio intercom connectivity, gigabit ethernet with power over ethernet, and more. Way more than I can cover here. But let's talk about the main functionality. Firstly, the Bird Dog Studio NDI is a NDI encoder and decoder. That means you can send video via SDI or HDMI across the network with NDI. This makes it great to mount on cameras or connect it to video mixers to send upstream for a dedicated broadcast PC or TriCaster unit that's not close enough to where you actually are. You don't have to run 
SDI cables everywhere across, you know, hundreds of meters. It also means that it can be used in a video village setup in production to receive video streams from different broadcast feeds. The tally light compatibility means being able to use this in big multicam setups and subjects will know which camera is being used and they should look at. This integrates directly with TriCaster software to automatically indicate tally if desired, and this is apparently the world's first NDI tally system. Even more impressively, there's a cross converter in the device, so you're not just limited to using one connection. You can send a video feed via HDMI and preview it via the SDI output, or send one NDI feed via SDI but receive another via HDMI, and so on. Ultimate flexibility is intended here. Another worthwhile point is just how low latency the streams from this device is. In my gigabit network connection, hooking it up, doing my usual capture card latency testing, this thing has very, very low latency that competes with direct attached HDMI capture cards, which is just insane. But the main video streams aren't all that this thing supports either. There's also a built-in comm system to communicate between bird dog devices and a director so that communication across all operators can be maintained without needing extra hardware or signals being sent. For free, four bird dog devices and one director are supported, and then there's a paid upgrade package that allows you to create like up to five groups of devices and opens up a lot more communication paths, which is pretty neat. This kind of functionality is a bit out of the scope of my one-man operation and show here, so it's not something I was able to do much to test, but it is very sick. BirdDog also makes camera mounts for the Studio NDI, a mini version of the device, as well as a multitude of NDI-equipped PTZ cameras, mixing control surfaces, and more. One really cool thing that they have in the works and coming soon are dedicated wall plates. This is really fascinating. You have actual wall plates, like you would connect, you know, power to, that you can hook up you know, a video feed to, and then it sends it over your network via NDI, and you can pick that up back out via HDMI or what have you on another wall plate. And theoretically, that could be used to just be a receiving wall plate for an arbitrary NDI source and not specifically the other wall plate, but at the moment, the intention is just two wall plates. But you can send, you know, across buildings, across your house, just direct feeds using NDI here, which is insane. It's a lot cheaper of a solution than trying to use, you know, HDMI transcoders across, you know, long runs and all of that. Like, I'm pretty impressed. I got a super brief chance to test out the Studio NDI in conjunction with a full TriCaster unit from NewTek before NAB last year. And while I couldn't dig in too deep due to time and everything else going on, I will say that setup and integration was quite seamless. And honestly, it's so intuitive that you really wouldn't know that you weren't connected via direct SDI or HDMI when using these two together. I also spent quite a bit of time using this in different setups for sending camera feeds to my workbench PC building live streams, sending game console video feeds between floors of my apartment, and so on. There's so much you could do here that it's honestly pretty overkill for a one-man show, as, as I mentioned, and the, as the hefty price tag might indicate, but the Bird Dog Mini might be a more appropriate solution for a smaller price as well. There's two limitations of the Studio NDI that you may run into, however. First, it only supports up to 1080p, 60fps, and second, there is no support for NDI-HX. They push this as a selling point, as it uses the full YUV422 uncompressed NDI feed for the best possible quality, but that means that flexibility for congested networks may be a problem, and it's wired Ethernet only. What if you do have a congested network, or you want to go wireless? Well, NewTek themselves actually sell a dedicated device for this. The sadly not more economical NewTek Spark family of products. They've recently introduced some higher-end models, such as the Spark Plus 4K, which does 4K NDI over Ethernet, and the Spark Pro, which does up to 4K60 and has power over Ethernet and things like that. I have the original NewTek Connect Spark HDMI unit here. Uh, this is great for wireless setups, as it supports wireless or wired networking, 1080p 60fps, but operates using NDI HX only, so you're limited on quality. NDI HX is basically just H.264 wrapped in the NDI protocol package, which is how they're able to compress it for Wi-Fi and things like that. The quality, of course, suffers when compared to full open NDI, but it gives you a bit more flexibility for, you know, where you can send it. I actually used this a couple of times for my PC building live streams too, where I connected my Ursa Mini Pro Cinema camera to it for operation away from the rest of the studio while shooting B-roll and things like that to send it to my stream as if it was directly connected to that streaming PC. It's pretty handy, but in terms of raw functionality, it's nowhere near as kitted out as the Bird Dog Studio NDI. 
The industry's adoption of NDI doesn't stop there, though. Over the past couple years, the scene has exploded with gadgets and software integrations. Adobe has integrated NDI into the Creative Cloud Suite, allowing for sharing and collaboration across Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, Prelude, Speedgrade, and their, you know, their full suite of apps in real time. Magewell actually has dedicated NDI decoder and encoder boxes available as well, and more companies are releasing PTZ cameras with NDI built in. The Zcam team has been working out getting NDI streaming directly integrated into their Zcam E2 line of cameras, which is pretty crazy. Plus, new tech has their own NDI applications for streaming specific video devices or screen sharing between PCs, studio quality multi-channel audio recording, as well as entire live broadcast analysis tools for drawing, diagramming, and using graphics with NDI sources for sports broadcasts and the like. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, this kind of innovating is what really gets me excited when it comes to live streaming tech. There's just you know, things are actually changing and becoming better. There's just so much innovation happening, so much potential for getting audio and video anywhere it needs to be in a studio or setup, and I love it. I hope this gets the wheels turning in your head of, you know, what could be done. Thanks to NewTek for letting me check out the Connect Spark HDMI as well as one of the TriCaster units for a short while. Thanks to Bird Dog and Video Guys for letting me check out the Studio NDI for review, and thank you for watching. Product links as well as links to my other mentioned videos on NDI related setups will be linked below.